Hello, welcome Saints Nation. I am Patrick Smoke Chambers, and I'm joined with Theo, the Holy Juan, and uh, welcome to uh, you know we're back again. Welcome to the Nace Star League Week One of Overwatch Two. We got Saint Clair Saints go varsity going yeah. up against Blinn College. So uh, you know right off the bat, let's get into the roster real quick of our new varsity uh, look. Really. Yeah, we have a bit of a newer look this roster. We have Tread Odd Tank, uh, a newer player coming in, so it's going to be mm -hmm. interesting how they play around that one new tank. It's going to be Soaks and Razor on support, and it should be Noxious and Emrin on DPS. So, a couple refinements in the roster, really big change in the tank, obviously. Uh, there's only one tank in the game. Everyone has to really have good chemistry with that tank, so I want to see how our players have gotten uh, the chemistry on lockdown and how look they good how good they look today, right? I mean, going over recent patch uh, notes, you know, just because did come out uh, recently, a couple of big changes, especially in Malga. You know, a tank that was released and he absolutely was destroying everything. So patch notes come out, they take a huge nerf on him, going to 300 health uh, from two, fi uh, I believe, from 250, but then down in. Sh in shield mm -hmm. for uh, to 200 from 250, yeah. and then also uh, some ammo changes, and the big change to me, which is when he's in his alt, obviously he chains everybody up, traps them in that area, and he has unlimited ammo. Now that is not the case. His weapons will automatically reload when that alt happens, mm -hmm. but he cannot uh, have unlimited ammo. So. I would also say that, uh, you know, we're probably not going to be seeing much of him. And I'm also getting uh, word before that uh, Blink College will be playing with their subs, if I'm not mistaken. So if that. we get into some score predictions, should be wrapping this one up pretty quick. Yeah, right? it should be should be a 3-0 for the Saints. But as I said, they are playing with a new tank. So we're going to see how their communication can really... Uh, how how it of goes, course. how, how they because it's very important, especially when you have one tank, you know, when you have two tanks and you sub in a new tank in Overwatch 1, it was a bit different, you could easily adjust, but with one tank, when everyone has to change to how that tank plays, it's very, very different, so, yeah, I really hope our Saints can uh, start off strong with the 3-0 here. Absolutely, and I mean, I think it's going to be a throw as well, but we'll see if they, uh, Blinn College can prove us wrong as we get into the server now. You see the lineups coming out on the side of St. Clair, I believe those lineups are mixed, but we see Tread on the Ramatra, Noxious on the Reaper, Emerin on the May, Soaks on the Lucio, and Razor on the Moira, and yes, those lineups are flipped, so over on the St. Clair College side, that should be the Blinn College side, but they're going to be bringing out Hutch on the Junker Queen, the Genji on Sky, Zaitu on the Sojourn, and we're going to get the Lucio and Kiriko support combo. Yeah, so St. Clair are playing the super rush comp. You can see them sprinting onto this queen. The Kiriko decides to TP in, but it's going to go down instantly. And the queen should fall right after. Great team play there from St. Clair, able to chop down a couple. And this should be a very, very easy fight and point flip for them. They're going to look to find a couple of stranglers. This Sojourn is playing very, very aggressive. Has to be careful not to get staggered here, but I think the Sojourn is going to get ran down. So. That's going to be unfortunate for the side of Blink College's eye to just not wanting to die. Staggering so, so hard now. Sinclair College are going to get a lot of points off that one fight. Right, and I mean, name of the game is engage your team fights, but don't give up early picks. St. Clair not lacking in that area. They're finding great early picks to start off, especially in the first team fight, finding that immediate kill onto the Junk Queen. Of course, the tank going down in Overwatch 2. That is not what you want to see as uh, the team fight continues here. Very interesting as well. The Ramatra going into his different form, having the shield a little bit. He's just not going to survive there, though. Hutch with a good cleanup, and uh, right now, it's looking, I was going to say it was looking good for Blinn, but, you know, the tank died, but they trade right back, and St. Clair is right back in this. They find the picks they need. They lock down the Sojourn before she can pop that alt, and uh, it's looking all St. Clair so far as we reach the halfway point. Yeah, looking very good there. Just a bit of a scramble fight. They were able to find a couple picks. Tread did fall down, but everyone else was just too low. Let's see how this next fight starts off. They're going to choose to speed right onto that Kir Kirko. Going to put her down. Lucio going to die as well. That's both supports dead for the side of Blink College. And Zaitu is going to go down as well. Where the rest of the members, Tread, is going to be able to pick up this Junker Queen on the point. And it's going to be all up to Tracer here in the 1v5. Doesn't want to stagger too hard. Will maybe try and survive here as Emmer with the shotguns. Looking for shots there. Won't find anything. 13 HP though, Tread finds the last melee onto Sky Sniper. They're now on 80%. It's going to be up to Blink College to just run to this point and get a touch, but Emerin 
having that freeze, it's going to be a massive one here. You wonder if Sky Sniper is going to be back in time to touch that point. You can see the whole team trying to go top right here, but let's see how Emirin decides to play. He's going to choose to throw down the wall. Will the ultimate come from? Yes, it will. The freeze, freeze coming goes out. down onto the queen. The ultimate will come out from the queen, so she won't be frozen. Emirin will go down to Hutch. There's the beat coming up from Soak. 99%. They do touch, but their tank does fall down. St. Clair might flip the point over, but they're going to choose to come back here and fight this one quick. Soak on 1 HP will go down. The point will flip, but there's still no tank for Side of Blink College. They decide to use the B drop as well to try and take this one out. Frankie, 1 HP on that Kirko is going to be able to survive, and it's a team fight win for the Side of Blink College as they pick up Emren on the out tree. And uh, what I will say again, they're looking so good so far with their alt usage as the point does flip. And uh, I believe if that is, yeah, Blin, they are going to start getting some percentage as the Ramatra alt comes in. Who can it find? It's going to get the pickup onto the support player. However, the J Queen able to shut it down. But as the Reaper alt comes in, can he find anything? No, not quite. He's going to get shut down as well from the Kiriko. Really good job holding off there by Blin. But it seems like they're now starting to take some losses. The Motor alt's going to come out. It's going to find the pick on one. Can they whip off the Sojourn? Yes, they can. Looking really good so far from Razor and the boys as they're going to take this point. They take the team kill and they're going to take this first point of the map. Great team play there by St. Clair. Razor getting his second coalescence of the round. Just doing so much healing and damage on that Moira. And it's going to give a St. Clair a pretty easy first round. They're playing that rush comp with so much confidence. They're just instantly speeding with that May while looking for a pick and they're able to find it. I wonder if we're going to see something towards the similar side here on the second map. We see Emran switching over to the fair. We might see a Pharmacy Doomfist comp. This is something they like to play. Emran really, really good on that fair and it's going to be a problem here for Blink College. But you can see on their own side, maybe they're looking to mirror this fair. I don't know if that's the play you want to go for with Emran being on the side <laughs> of St. Clair College, but it's going to be something they're giving a shot. Well, Pharmacy versus Pharmacy is going to be what we are looking at for a lot of this round and uh, we're just gonna simply see which pharmacy is better that's uh, that's how I'm gonna be grading this round off of of course st. Clair they know that they are up against subs obviously not wanting to you know underestimate their opponent however you could expect a couple of meme comps coming out here so am I surprised by this Oh, absolutely a... not, as Emran absolutely demolishes Sky out of the air oh and he's going my. to get the pick on the Mercy too. Pharmacy gone and this is just not looking good for the side of Blinn College. Losing one of their DPS and both their supports. That's the tank gone too. Count it. He's out of there. And now the switch immediately coming out. Sky knows. There's no way I'm competing with that. He's switching onto the Echo. Yeah, Echo known as a hard counter to fair. Let's see if Emran can find a couple shots here. Playing very aggro, will go down. Will Stokes be able to make it out alive? Yes, he will. Playing a bit too aggressive there, Emran. Does go down. There's gonna be an Ash swap coming out as well from Zaitu from the side of Blink Collagen. They're gonna go for that Mauga. Something we didn't expect to see, but here it is. I don't know how much value Mauga can really get into a team comp of St. Clair College when they have that Pharmacy, they have a May. They can get away so easily with the Doomfist. One HP on that Echo. Not gonna be able to take her down, but Tread doing so much damage to this Mauga. The Kirko TP it a bit too deep. We're gonna look for the punch there. Tread won't find too much, but Emerin should still be causing chaos in the airs here. He's gonna be looking to go in the back lane, but Hutch is able to gun him down. Soaks on one HP, should go down as well. Will be alive there and will be able to get alive wow. as Noxious picks up Pashiki. Zaitu's gonna take down Tread, so three fourths side of the stage, but Noxious takes down the Echo. Uh, Noxious does go down, the Resurrect does not come through there from Soaks, living on one HP, able to keep this Kiriko alive, and it's just the supports, I believe, for Cyrus St. Clair and Emerin, who's gonna be taking down the Kiriko there. It's Razor who's gonna pick up Zaitu now, and this should be quite an easy cleanup for Cyrus St. Clair. A bit of a shaky fight, but as Panshake and Hutch go down, it's gonna be St. Clair here at 60% and counting. And that damage boost on the Pharah is absolutely lethal. The number one thing you got to look out for if you're Blinn College, especially with that Mauga, is of course how effective can Noxious and those Maywalls be from removing you from your supports, obviously. A really good play, though, from Blinn to keep huh? the Kiriko, and I believe the Noxious Mercy also. as well. And Noxious is actually going to pull out the Freeze. But I don't believe it's actually going to hit anybody, as uh, that completely misses the Doomfist Tread, trying to just get back a little bit. Hutch on the Mauga, he's going to find the pick and now he's going to use the ult as well. Chains are out, like I said, he needs to reload. There's no more unlimited ammo. But the Bob is cleaning up and Zaitu is going to find a couple picks as well. Hutch cleaning up the rest of the team. That was a really good job by Blinn College. 
And, uh, you know, it's looking pretty good as well. They get really good use out of the May ult from St. Clair because it didn't get anyone. Yeah. And uh, they clean up on the other side with an Echo ult to boot. Yeah, Blink College using four ultimates to win that one. I don't know why Nox just threw the May ult in the air. And That's got to be the question, anyone, right? But that was definitely a bit of a troll. Now he's going to switch over to that Widowmaker, trying to find a pick onto that Echo very early on. Ember is still going to be on this pharmacy doing so much. Tread's going to switch over to that Junker Queen. There's going to be Ember going to the backline, doing so much damage to Sky Sniper, but will go down to Hutch on that Mauga. Let's see if, if Noxious can maybe find any picks on this Widowmaker. As Tread is in here, going to look to maybe knife Mauga off the map, but won't be able to find it. Sky Sniper doing so much on this Echo, able to take down Razor. Tread also low HP, this will go down. Noxious will find a pick on Defro, it should get resurrected. There's going to be the ultimate coming out from Blind College, and they're doing a really good job of maintaining the site. Right, and I mean, the uh, the question to me is going to be, how are they going to shut down this Mauga? What will they do in order oh to counter my. it out? That's a really good couple of shots from Emerin, and there's the counter! Emerin's going absolutely wild. He finds one, finds two, and he's going to find the third, and now he's going on the Kiriko, and he finds the fourth, and that's going to be it. Razor picking up the last one, of course, on that damage booth. This boost the sojourn can be so lethal with that rail shot and that really just shows you how dangerous it can be st Clair, they just needed to find the first pick and the rest was going to go obviously sitting on 96 percent they just needed the push and amarin he's going to be the playmaker for that team there very very nice finish to the map from st Clair. there Emeryn, as you said switching over to the sojourn able to get four picks and a very very nice map blin did show a couple upsides won a couple nice fights but the fights they won might have overinvested with their ultimates a little bit and not let them really have a fighting chance in the rest of the round. So, a pretty good game from both teams. St. Clair looking pretty good with a new roster, making some interesting plays and changes, but overall, pretty good performance in the first map. Yeah, and uh, like I was saying, you know, I wasn't expecting to see the Mauga, but Blim yeah. brought it out. It, uh... It didn't go so well, because when you got a damage-boosting Sojourn going yeah. wild, as uh, Emerin did right there, it's just, you know, it's hard. When he's on his day and he's hitting his shots, it's hard to it's hard to counter it. It just it is what it is. That rail shot is so lethal with that damage boost, and, uh, you know, right off the jump as well. It just wasn't looking good. They tried to match the pharmacy. That just didn't happen. We, like, they got absolutely rolled, and, uh, you know, they made the couple of switches. Got the point for a little bit, but came down to really not too much in the end. Yeah, and uh, I'm, I'm not sure what the next game mode is, but St. Clair have been loving these rush comps. Obviously, that Lee Jung uh, map, that particular one is the one where you could see the crazy picks, the wrecking balls, the pharmacies, the echoes, all that stuff. But for the rest of the maps in the map pool, rush is, it's either rush or dive, I think, right now, the meta. And Ramacha, Junker Queen just being the two best tanks at the moment. St. Clair showing how well they can play it. I think we're going to, exp uh, should expect to see a bit more of that comp, if not today, uh, heading on into other days because that's really the main comp that's going to be <laughs> their, their comp that they like to play. Right, and uh, honestly, I just wonder as some lineups do come in before we get into game, I can tell you right now that we are going to be bringing the Orisa, opening up with the Orisa as our tank from Tread. And, uh, oh, well, I seem to be mistaken. They're just kind of picking their lineups right now, but uh, it was a little bit of an interesting lineup that St. Clair was running in the, uh, <laughs> in the, in the opening. Box. I didn't really know if they were going to go oh, through man. with it. More than likely glad that they aren't. But, you know, they're kind of having a little bit of fun here. They just got to be careful not to underestimate Blinn. Yeah, without a doubt. And it's going to be King's Row. St. Clair known for King's Row for God knows how many years. Now, this is their map of choice if they ever want to win. And they definitely want to win. They're going to be on the attack, it looks like. And it's going to be Blinn on the defense. So, St. Clair College. Let's see what they decide to play. You could see Razor on the on. Soaks on Mercy, Emerin on Widow, Echo for Noxious, and Doomfist for Tread. Interesting to see the Doomfist uh, Tread on the Doomfist. Of course, the main thing that we're going to be looking for is how can the Doomfist deal with the Baptiste, right? Can he get in the back line? If he finds the Baptiste, that is going to be the keystone for taking down this Blind defense. And, uh, you know, if the DPSs can find an early pick, then obviously that's what happens. But as the Doomfist is your dive guy, that's going to be the big question. How can they get rid of this BAP? 
And uh, as the game gets underway, we're about to find out how or if they can. Yeah, if St. Clair can get on top of this BAP and take him out early, that's not a lot of healing left for the rush comp of Blink College, but let's see how they decide to play this one. Tread's gonna be going into the back line. Emmer, and with that, Mercy is gonna go to that top right. Tread finding such a huge punch, taking out the me immediately as Emmer takes down the soldier, and that's no more DPS for the side of Blin. Pans Keishki is gonna be able to find Noxious, but Emmer on the soldier has been causing havoc. He's able to find one, misses that shot on the Lucio barely, but it's just the Ramatra and Lucio left, and this should be the point. Going for St. Clair College, Emmer what a get shot. another headshot onto Fro, playing out of his mind right now, able to take down that Ramatra as well, and this should be another kill onto this. There it is, Tread is able to pick it up. They should be able to get the Doom as well, such great staggers here coming out from St. Clair. Should give them a lot of card time after the cap comes through. Yeah, and I mean, like we said, it was just, what can the Doomfist do? He couldn't quite get the Baptiste, but he gets the May, and that's such a big pick if you're on the side of St. Clair. The rest just kind of came through. Of course, that Baptiste having basically three health bars when you factor in his uh, health surge, yeah. his lamp, and then also just his <laughs> passive healing, because by the time that lamp's destroyed, his passive healing's most likely kicked in. They're doing a really good job, though. And I mean, the story of this game is simple. Emerin is going insane. You see as they're just kind of having Razor sit on the cart. They're doing a really good job of just stalling the push. They're gaining these quick meters. Tread's doing a great job of getting into the back line. Fro's going to actually find that pick onto Emerin and then Zaitu onto Tread. So Blin College doing a really good job of opening up. Let's see if they can take any of this ground back. Yeah, this is a great start for a side of Blink College. They're just going to back, uh, back Sinclair all the way up. Soaks is forced to use that Vactor. Let's see what Noxious can maybe do here with that Echo. It's going to choose to copy the Queen and it's going to use that Shadow Melee. Will find the Slash. Will look to find the ultimate here. Just has to find his shots here. He's able to take down Hodge. Will die, but great shots from Emrin there. He's able to oh, find man. two on the Soldier. And as soon as he peeks this corner, he's going to look for the third. Won't find it there. Doomfist going in. Tread won't find the punch. Will look to kill the Soldier after the slide as Emrin finds Fro. Zaitu goes down to Tread and that's another very dominating fight from St. Clair. Only needs to use a couple of ultimates. I mean, this is just absolutely disgusting, right? Like, Emerin is just going absolutely insane with this damage boost coming in from the Mercy. I mean, if you're Blinn College right now, you gotta start getting a little uh, bit uneasy. You know, they're getting great meters off this cart. They're getting great, like, stall time. And it's just gonna get better and better and better if you're on the side of St. Clair, at least as it would look right now. Doomfist with the ult. He's going to try to get into position. But is it worth popping right now? He's gonna hold on to it for the minute, and there it is. He's gonna pop it right now, trying to target the supports, and that's exactly what he's gonna do. Onto the Lucio, and we see oh, the Ana as fun. well, anting the Junker Queen, and now into the back line, Emerin goes. He's finding so many off this Kitsune rush. He's gonna pick up two right now, and he's gonna get a third one right before he dies. Noxious cleaning up the supports with the kill on Kiriko, and uh, it was just roll city uh, as this uh, Kiriko push came through. Yeah, I mean, St. Clair College have five minutes to cap the final points here, and they look to do so. Blink College switching over to the Echo Ash, deciding to play the Snipers, Emmerin missing that shot there, will be able to stay alive. But Blink College only having the Lucio beat on the Junker Queen ult to defend themselves as Emmerin pops his ultimate. Let's see if he can get any shots down. Does pick up Lucio, but can't seem to find anything else. It's gonna be another kill coming up from Emmerin as Hutch holds on to the point, gets slept, gets absolutely depleted as the Kiriko try to help him out, but goes down as well. Lucio playing a bit too aggressively here as well. Will go down as well as the Hanzo, and that's another team kill for St. Clair. Learning look to close the map out right here. I mean, you pop the ult if you're uh, if you're Hutch on the Junker Queen, and you immediately get met with a sleep, an anti, and just three guns on you, especially that Echo. Uh, it's just not a great place to be as a uh, Hutch. It's going to be the exact same thing. The sleep absolutely rolls him, and it's just not even close. Dynamite being thrown, missed shot on the side from the side two. And now we're just spawn camping. This is just what we're doing now. Uh, it's just it's just done. I mean, the alt's coming out from the Echo. It looks like they're just absolutely rolling. He's going to find another one on the sky. They're trying to clean up the Doom. As I say this, it looks like they might get the pick on the Doom Fist, but he's going to pop the alt instead. And I mean, the DPS has just cleaned up that entire area. There was no getting back there. The Lucio wasn't back in time to push them in with the speed. And even then, the health was just so low. There's not enough healing coming out. Obviously, Lucio can only be one of the two healing your speed, and he's not going to do very much healing output. So without that uh, primary healer on your team, you know, alive at that moment, 
it's just not going to work out. St. Clair doing a really good job on the attack. Absolutely dominant attack coming up from them. Three minutes, 30 seconds left. Just a dominant round all around. They only lost what it felt like maybe half a fight when two of their members died in the street section. But other than that, they've looked very, very strong. And Blinn College just looked like they have no idea what to do. They switched over to the double sniper. They switched over the comp a couple of times, but just could not figure out. They're going to be going for the Soldier and Mercy, try and uh, copy what Emerin was doing maybe on that Soldier. But we're going to see Soaks and Razor going to walk out of spawn on the Moira and the Razor. Fun fact, Soaks on Moira, very, very bad. Very bad win rate in ranked. If you ever check his account on Moira, don't. It's like 10% <laughs> win rate. But uh, anything else than that, very, very good. He's going to be on that Mercy again, helping out Emerin and Auction Tread on the Doompus again. I, want, I think Blinn College have a pretty good shot at capping first here, but I don't think they're going to get much further than that. Right, and I mean, of course, you said you thrown some smoke there at Soaks. Uh, mean, yeah, I mean, what it does mean is if you see Soaks on the Moira, your team's probably getting absolutely uh, just destroyed. Yeah. There would be no other reason yeah. other than bragging rights for him to hop on the Moira in that role. Yeah, and we're going to see Razor here on the flank on the Ana. Bit of a risky position, because if they find him, he's as good as dead. But he's going to look for the sleep onto. Oh, they do find him. The queen's going to run right at him. Can he find the sleep onto the queen? We'll find the nade. Where's the sleep? There's Oh, they're just going to kill the queen without it. That's a great start for Sad of St. Clair. They're going to look to pick up the Zaitu there. They will. That's the three kills going over St. Clair's Ember on top of this bus is just laying down fire. Mercy will go down. He's going to give you Tracer in the corner here. Can they pick her up? Sky Sniper on half HP. One HP will be able to survive as the Roadhog comes out from Hutch, gets tread down to one HP. It's a pick I love. I think that's maybe something <laughs> that's going to spark an ignition that they so much need. Well, let's see if it does, but so far it's been looking all St. Clair. However, on the defense, it has to be all St. Clair if they want to protect this point. Let's uh, let's see how they're going to do it. Emerin has just been popping off, like, unbelievably. Let's see what he can do without Soaks on the Mercy on his team. Seems like he's going to find the pick with the Snare, and then him and Tread are going to pick up one onto the... Mer onto the uh, Sorry, I can't believe he's brain farted there. Onto the Tracer. Tread's cleaning up as well. He's going to find the pick on, on Hutch on the Roadhog. And uh, the support's just down the drain as well. I must say, for a first, like, showing, very Tread good. is looking very good. Now, granted, of course, these are the subs on Blink College. But you can't say that, you know, you see this and you at least say, hey, you know what? It seems like he's fitting in. He's not really made any mistakes. He's filling out his role kind of perfectly. He's not getting himself into too much danger until that first life on the Roadhog came out. And uh, I, I got to say, he just looks like he's fitting in really well. So uh, that, that would be what my take is on Tread so far in tank. Completely agree. I was going to say the exact same thing. I think Tread's playing this series about as well as you can. And... It's just pure dominance from St. Clair College. They do have help for a couple minutes here. Tread getting his workout in a little bit. Has to make sure that he's always looking good. Look good, play good or something like that. They say as Sky Sniper finds a huge shot there onto Emrin. Maybe might that be the start for the side of Blink College, but Noxious and Bob's Tread coming out. <laughs> gets Bob out on the copied. Ash and Noxious will take down the May alongside the Doomfist and Mercy going down as well. It's going to be just this poor Roadhog left on his lonesome. Will they go for the kill? They're going to let him live, but nobody falls from Cyrus Sinclair. Another very clean team fight. And if you're on the side of Blink College right now, you got a minute and like, you basically got a buck 15 change here to go. And and uh, I won't lie, it, it's not looking very good. No. You got to get something going quick. And, uh, you know, the pick onto the Hanzo now as well. That was going to be like your quick one tap guy to get going. It just doesn't seem like it's uh, going too well so far, especially when you got the duo of Tread oh and Nox just in the back line, absolutely ripping everything up. However, Sky will pick up the kill on the Lari as he finds the headshot, and that might be what they need now. Of course, it's going to take Soaks a little while to oh, get back Emerin. there. Go However, down. Emerin is also going to get picked off as well in the back. A little bit of a risky play from St. Clair. And, you know, this might actually lead to Blinn being able to take this point. It depends on how fast they can recover. But I think St. Clair are trying to go on the flank, if I'm not mistaken. Tread trying to get to the top floor here. They're going to try to come up the staircase. They've lured the Roadhog off the point. He's on following. He's going to double back now. And the Alari is going to get absolutely rolled as the ult comes in. 
St. Clair on the Kitsune rush as well is just going to find absolutely everyone minus the Roadhog that they work on right now. Great team fight from St. Clair. They're able to take the second map. 20 kill streak for Tread. He had a 15 kill streak in the first round, so I think he's finishing the map 35 and 0, which is absolutely an absolutely ins disgusting. Insane <laughs> scoreline. Didn't die once the whole the whole map. So St. Clair College able to take a 2-0 lead now over Blim College. It is best of three, so there will be a push map, I believe, next. But uh, yeah, it's best of five. Sorry, first two, three. My apologies, but it's going to be a push map coming up next, if I'm not wrong, in the format. And I think that map is going to be fun to watch. I wonder if St. Clair are going to pull out a rush type of style, if they're going to play something that they just did with the dive. So a great uh, map there for St. Clair. Just played perfectly around the Doomfist and Blin just had no answer. Yeah, and I mean... The story of that game, I want to highlight two players, of course. It's been Emeryn all night, but like we just said, Tread, 35-0. and zero. I mean, it's just absolutely gross. And I think what really helped in the early stages of that game was actually the Mercy coming out yeah. and uh, doing a lot of that damage boost. Now, I'm no advocate for, <laughs> all of, for necessarily a Mercy pocket, but if it works, it it works, and it's been working tonight so far, oh, yeah. so why quit, right? I mean, you bring out the Ana to back up, right? You bring out the Kiriko to back up. You're not necessarily then losing that much healing. Of course, two very versatile healers that can get to multiple people very quickly, right? With the Mercy just being on the solo. So it's working right now, and uh, as much as I dislike <laughs> seeing it, it's, you know what? I, I got to give it to them. Hats off to them. They're making it work in the side of the Saints. And, uh, you know, you just got to hope that they're uh, going to keep it going. Yeah, Saints playing so well. It's going to be Flashpoint, right, not Flashpoint. Push. I, I don't even know why I forgot Flashpoint was added to the game completely. But, yes, Flashpoint is the third third map of every series. And uh, I like the new uh, newer, newest game mode, Flashpoint. I think it's a it's a great, uh, great game mode for competitive games. It just requires so much ult tracking when you're playing at the highest level. But Blin are going to opt to go for that Moira Lucio, Reaper, May, and the Ramacha. Maybe they're going to choose to play the Sojourn instead of the Reaper, but it's a very rush uh, heavy comp. You want to just go on the target, but St. Clair College are going to be on that Doomfist again. Soaks on the Moira. A very dangerous pick, as I said. Razor is going to be <laughs> on Zenyatta. Noxious is going to be on that Echo. Very off meta. Team comp from St. Clair College. Yeah, I was just going to point done. out the, uh, oh yeah, that Moira Zen combo. Ooh wee, that is... Uh, not something you see ever. Not something you see ever. Yes, exactly. And uh, I guess Blinn College right now relying on the uh, Moira Lucio. Again, not a very heal-based uh, team, really. But I mean, when you have the Mei who can heal herself as well, like you can afford, and the Ramacha with the damage reduction, you can afford to kind of give some of that up right now. Sky finding the first pick onto the Zen. And uh, they're just starting it off. Here we go. Tread getting a little low on health right now. Gonna pop the damage reduction. And uh, he's just gonna escape out of there. Soaks finding the pick onto the Moira. And that's gonna be, honestly, you know what? Screw it. That's a story of this game. It's gonna be what Moira can diff. <laughs> Moira diff 1v1 right now between Soaks and uh, Pash. But uh, going back onto the actual game so far, looking pretty good on the side of Blin. They're finding the picks pretty well. Yeah, Blin able to. Just run on top of the Zen Razor, switching over to the Lucio, realizing that you can't really play the Zen Moira, not the strongest healing combo I've ever seen. And now Noxious is going to steal Emran's Junkrat away from him, his signature pick, and he's going to be on a Junkrat of his own. Emran on the Widowmaker tread, still going to try and do stuff on the Doofus here. They're looking to flip the point very, very early, but Blin are not going to let it happen in the backline tread. Has all his cooldowns back again, but Noxious and Emirate instantly fall down. That's both DPS falling for the side of St. Clair College, and now they're going to be forced to give this one up. And with the way things are going, it looks like Glen College might be able to pick up the very, very first flash. Right, I mean, Flashpoint, such a volatile game mode, right? Like, it's a lot easier to predict what's going to happen with control or with hybrid, right? But it's a lot different when you get a mode like Flashpoint or Push. Two game modes, or sorry, Push is pretty easy to predict as well. Oh, oh yeah. But when you get a game mode like Flashpoint, it's so different. Stuff can happen so quickly. And every little second truly does matter. As we see Tread popping the Doom alt, he's going to try to target this May. It's just barely not going to find it. However, they just have to touch right now if they're St. Clair. What can they do? But it's just not looking like it's going to happen. However, they do get on the point for a little bit. 
but that overtime bar is going down. And as the Ramatra does have Annihilation, he's probably not going to opt to pop it out right now. You wouldn't want to waste that. You want to save that alt for the next Flashpoint. But Blinn College doing a really good job of picking up that first one, finding the upset on point one on St. Clair. Great start for Blinn College. You know, they're playing that meta comp and they're playing it well, but Tread is going to find that pick immediately onto and uh, Shanky and it's gonna probably lead to the first point being flipped over for St. Clair. They're deciding to go a bit more aggressive now with that w uh, Genji and that uh, Para. So let's see how St. Clair decide to play this. They should have this first point in theory. Let's look at the ultimates though. Blink College have so, so much. They might look to fight this and they will. Let's see if Emran can find the pick onto the May here early. That's gonna be the ice block used and there should be both DPS falling. Hutch is gonna find Emran and it's gonna be the Ramacho ult used here, but Trez able to push him away. The boobs are coming out. They don't want to let this Ramacho get anywhere near them. And his ultimate is lasting forever, but should be running out sometime soon. Tread drops into the backline, gonna look for the Moyer here, doing so much damage. Noxious finds the kill there. Tread doesn't find anything on the punch through, but they should be able to pick up the Lucio. There's the dash resets coming through for Noxious. Can they find any more picks here? Hutch should go down. That's gonna be a great stagger for them, and it's 30% and counting on the point for St. Clair College. Now, while this is true, Blinn College did a really good job of just saving that freeze, saving that over uh, clock, and they are going to be able to hold on to those for the next engagement with the Coalescence and the Beat most likely going to be available for them when they touch point again soon. I want to touch, though, on, I think, a really smart pick coming out from Emerin on the Farah realizes that Zaitu on the Sojourn just isn't really hitting uh, the shots right now, which means that when you then pick, mix him with a May, it's not going so well as the uh, far up pops the alt. Should be able to pick up the kill here on the Lucio. He's just going to sneak away and so will the tank. And uh, Blind College doing a really good job as the beat comes out. But Zaitu going to die. Dragon Blade out right now on the side of Genji. Can he find the pick on the Moira? Oh, nice. Yes, he can. Finding one of the DPS, one on the heals. And Emerin picking up the Lucio as well. No supports right now. And if you're Hutch, you got to be looking at this like, oh man, it's just a matter of time. I'm going to pop the other form, but that's going to be ultimately it for that. Absolute dominance on the side of St. Clair for that little team fight. Yeah, I mean, St. Clair, that flashpoint played perfectly. Now you can see Tread back on that kill streak has got 10 in a row. And Emrin and Noxious be able to do so much with their uh, Genji Pharah. Now we're gonna see Noxious make his way over to the Sombra, but we're gonna see both supports for side of St. Clair just kind of fall over and die, and Emrin will fall as well. This should be the new flashpoint unlocking and being capped by Blink College. And they're starting off this third round very, very strong. And a wasted coalescence coming out from Soaks as well. The Lucio on the side of Flo, uh, Fro from Blinn College doing such a good job there to get his team into it. Doomfist all being popped by Tread. Who can it find? Trying to go at the supports. Going to hit the Lucio. He's trying to get away now. Just trying to fall back to his team. Not finding too much economy on that alt. Just trying to get back to his supports. Hopefully get some healing. Yeah, I mean, a great fight there from Berlin, and they're able to take the first point, but Tread doing so much here on this Doomfist. Hutch falling very, very low. We'll have to switch form. Tread does fall down to Zaitu here, but the fight is still going on. Let's see if Sinclair can pick anything up. The ultimate will come out from Hutch, but Razor coming back with the beat drop, even though their tank is dead. Noxious will fall. Emrin's on one HP. Has to be very, very careful. Will not get any healing anytime soon, considering they have Moira and right. Lucio. So. Very, very good fight for Blinn College, and they're one fight away from taking this third flashpoint and taking the lead in the map. Right, and I mean, we might see this upset so far. Blinn doing a really good job, especially on alt economy, and they've wasted a bunch of St. Clair's alt so far is what I've noticed. They've been surviving through a bunch of these, and they're just doing a really good job of turning St. Clair's alts into absolutely nothing, turning around and getting usage out of their alts. That's what's ultimately, like you said, alt usage and alt, uh, alt, you economy. know, economy, yeah, is so big on this Flashpoint map. And, uh, you know, we're going to see that being done right now. However, St. Clair picking up the first two, and it seems like Fro's most likely going to go down as well. That passive healing going to kick in. May it save him? No, it will not. Tread, Emerin, cleaning up the supports. And, uh, wow, Emerin is just going wild. He picks up the last one onto the tank. And that's going to be St. Clair's flashpoint. They get it, but they need to hold for the entirety or they will be forced into overtime. Absolutely. At least two more fights here for Blinn as they choose to go to the Junker Queen of their own. 
they're gonna have that Lucio B drop and the EMP, so if they can go for a fight very early with this EMP, find a couple picks off that, should be a sure victory for them. Let's see how Sky Sniper decides to play this one, but Noxious finding a very, very early pick onto that Moira. Yes, he will fall down, but this should be the end of the push for the side of Blin as St. Clair choosing to pop their ultimates and chase them down. A great play there from Noxious, able to pick up the Moira, the main healer, as Emron and Tread are helping out on the cleanup. Zaitu does find Emron somehow, but it's going to be one more fight maybe for Blink College. They still have that EMP and B-drop and St. Clair just used a couple of ultimates of their own, but Noxious with this EMP might have to look to cancel the enemy Sombra and look for an EMP of his own. Right, and I mean, it's going to come down to the final seconds here, and you wonder if Sky maybe, when everyone was alive, should have popped that. Of course, that bleed damage there now coming in, and there's the EMP Let's on the side of St. Clair. They're finding absolutely everyone. However, Sky is going to be able to pick off the Lucio as well, but it's not going to matter because St. Clair is absolutely just rolling this point. That's going to do it. They keep up the defense, and uh, that was a really, really good uh, point from St. Clair College. Now, they go up 2-1. Yeah, that was peak Overwatch right there. They they know that Blin has to just run in and touch that point. They all hide in corners. As soon as the Moira uses that fade, they use that EMP, run on the Lucio, make sure that beat drop never gets put down. And it's very, very good for St. Clair College. Blin have been holding this beat drop basically the entire game as Emirate is just right. running around the back lines on the Soldier. Going to be a bit of a nuisance, but it's going to be Tread with his ultimate. Definitely has to be a big one here if St. Clair want to secure this point. Right, I mean, the beat is going to go down now from Fro, and uh, they're going to see what they can pick up on it. However, they're all just anteed now, as Tread obviously is going to pop that alt on the Junker Queen, and that's going to fuel just an absolute surge from St. Clair. Tread picking up so many, even with the knife out of pocket. It's just absolutely insane. Tread is going on a tear right now. Yeah, switching over to that Junker Queen, he's just been playing amazingly. Finds the huge ultimate there on at least three members, and St. Clair College doing so, so well to clean up. Now, Razor will have his beat drop for Zaitu's overclock if they decide to use it for that. The Moira is going to be used to force to fade early as Noxious. Has to be very, very careful here, but going to look to pick up the Genji. Should be able to find it there. Yes, he does. The beat comes out from Razor as everyone is able to stay alive. Razor actually does fall down very early. Soaks falls as well. That means no healing for the side of St. Clair College. Just tread. He's just going to get run over and should be going down any second here as the rest of his team falls down. And it's a great team fight win from Blinn College. That is absolutely peak what you need to see from Blinn wasting both the support alts as well. Like I just said, they've been doing a really good job of using their alts and canceling out St. Clair's. They showed that again. That was quite the push from Blinn. And uh, I got to say, right now, if you're St. Clair, you got to get back to that point. You have a lot of time. However, you have that EMP in pocket, and there is n almost no counter to it right now on the field. We're going to see how St. Clair uses it, and that's going to be that. Seems like the Moira's going to go down, and they're going to find Zaitu on the Sojourn. Picks coming out. Hutch is going to bag one onto Kiriko, but you got to think if you're Blin here, how long can you keep fighting? Not very much longer, and uh, that's going to right the flash point f hold from Blin College to an end. Let's see, do they even have enough time to touch? Yeah. They probably do, yep, as 77 comes up on the board. However, St. Clair, they're gonna do the same thing. They know Blin has to rush it. They're gonna hide in corners most likely, especially on that Sombra, seeing if they can get a free hack off. Oh, big pick. And that's a huge shot and a huge pick for Emerin and a huge pick for St. Clair. This oh. should be the Junker Queen going down soon, and it is. Tread popping the ult as well. Finding one onto the Moira is Razor. Tread's gonna find that knife onto the Lucio. And uh, I mean, this one is all she wrote. Emerin's just going to pop the emote. He accepts death, but he knows that he may not have won that battle. But St. Clair just won the war. 3-0 is going to be your score, your final in this best of five. Very, very, very nice finish there for St. Clair. Able to win that last fight with no ultimates on the other side. Hodge did get the play of the game here. Able to shut down Soaks and Razor on the previous one. But St. Clair just... In the end, we're able to pick up the victory and take a very clean 3-0 to start the season. We talked about some important things they need to do. And uh, the biggest thing was Tread, obviously a new tank, played out of his mind today, performed to the fullest and had a great debut for our Saints. Right, I don't really think you can play those series much better than Tread did. I mean, I can't remember the kill stats off the top of my head, obviously, but you know, 
He had a 20 streak at one point, got a 10 streak in this Flashpoint game. He was just going absolutely wild the entire night. Emerin was the one who started it for sure on Li Shang Tower, but then Tread absolutely kicked it into another gear when King's Row came around. And I got to say right now, if you're a Saints fan, you got to be looking pretty excited right now for what Tread has offered so far. Again, you know, to Blaine College, you know, they competed, they showed up, they did their best. And of course, this was also the subs on their team. So you got to imagine if it was starters, you know, matchup might have been a little bit different. Yeah. It could have swayed uh, a little more in either direction. But so far, if you're the Saints, you're feeling pretty hyped up and good about this, especially from your new player. Yeah, very, very exciting start to the season. And I'm very excited to see what our Saints uh, have to offer for the rest of the season. Hopefully they're only, they're only on the up and uh, I just can't wait. Yeah, and uh, honestly, like as this Overwatch season kicks off, I, uh, I can't wait to see more of them. They played so good today. Uh, I just don't think there really is much else to be said. Yeah. What I will say is we're finally back. <laughs> it's good to be back in the casting room. It's good to be broadcasting again with the Saints. I, uh, I can't wait to uh, continue coming up on this casting booth. It was a pleasure uh, casting with you as well, Theo. No, any time it's a pleasure casting, of course. Thank you very much. But we're going to be closing it out. So thank you to everyone in the back. Who's in the back three? There we got today. Uh, uh, Amanda, Amanda, Matthias. You got Tommy, it. Amanda, Matthias, and I think Tommy. Tommy for sure. Yeah, Tommy. Amanda, yeah. Matthias for sure. And uh, yeah. Anyone else? Who we're missing? I don't think so. I think we're a little short staffed today. But All right. It, That's good. Doesn't matter. The stream <laughs> went on. It was good. It happened. Everything went according to plan. Saints win, and uh, that's going to kick it off. Yeah, thank you to our sponsors. We got HyperX, Subway, Tim Hortons, SRC, and the St. Clair alumni. To not miss anything Saints related, follow all the social media to stay up to date. And we're going to be back here tomorrow for some Call of Duty at, I'm not too sure what time. Uh, no, 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 because I'm not here Wednesday, but <laughs> I will be here Thursday, though. <laughs> right, well, we got Call of Duty coming up tomorrow. I believe it is, it is around 8 or 8.30 p.m., so don't be anywhere. Don't miss that. And thank you guys for watching. It's been me, Theo, joined by Patrick, Patrick Smoke Chambers. Yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we'll be seeing you here tomorrow.